Hello everyone, nice to meet you again. I'll be explaining the 11 types of questions available in Google Forms, the options they have and what you can use them for. If you're new here, I'm Jonathan, your tech informant. I share tech tips and solutions on this channel. In subsequent videos, I'll be uploading topics on Google Forms. So if this is the type of content you love watching, consider subscribing and turn on your notifications to get more. Also, if you're interested in a particular question type, check out the timestamp in the description to see the corresponding chapters. Without saying much, let's get started. There are general options available in all question types. I will go through them quickly for a better understanding. The first option is duplicate. You can use it to duplicate a question. This is very useful if you are creating a lot of same questions. With the delete, you can delete the question. Then setting a question to require is going to block submission of the form until the user answers that question. It's more or less like making that question compulsory. Also, if the required question is a part of a section, the user cannot progress to the next section if they leave it unanswered. If you want to add an explanation for a question, you can use add a description. This is the best way to keep your questions short. Because if you plan to save the user's response into a spreadsheet, that means the whole question will be saved into the sheet. So it's better to keep your question short and add a description to it if there is a need for more info. The short answer is the best way to collect answers and validate them. It also has a response validation option that you can use to validate the user's response. For example, you can use this type of question to request the user to enter a number and then validate the answer to avoid human error. And you can also add a custom error message or text. The paragraph question type is used for collecting a long text and can contain more than one paragraph. You can also use answer validation but with limited options. So you can check out the validation for the length and regular expression. The multi-choice question is the most frequently used question type. That is why it is the default in Google Forms. Your users can only choose one from the predefined answers. The answers can be in the form of a text or image. If the question is required, then nothing from that given option can be selected as an answer. You can add this by clicking the other option. You can also add images for your question. This is also good for voting or balloting forms. Checkboxes type. This question type is similar to the multi-choice question types, but instead of selecting only one answer, a user can select multiple answers. Checkboxes type also supports answers validation so you can validate at least at most and exactly how many questions the user can select The drop-down question type is more like the multi-choice question type, but instead of displaying all the options at a time, it displays a drop-down list with all the options. You can use this type of question over multi-choice questions if you have a lot of options and you want to save space. The file upload question enables the user to upload a file 
with their answers in Google Forms. Also know that if you use a file upload question type in your forms, Google Forms will ask the user to sign in before they can fill up the form. So if you want your form to be submitted anonymously, avoid using this type of question. You can select options like allow only specific file type, maximum number of files, and maximum file size. This option can limit users to upload only certain type of files like documents, spreadsheets, PDF and the rest. Also, you can limit the number of files to upload with each response and their size. Linear scale question type lets your user select a number value in the range defined in the question. This type of question is generally used in measuring the ratings of satisfaction. Multi-choice grid question types is similar to linear scale. This question type lets you collect more answers in one question. The difference is that the answers are collected as column names opposed to the numbers in linear scale. Checkbox grid question types is similar to multi-choice grid type, except here you can select more than one field for each question. The date question type will enable you to collect dates and time from the user. In the default format, it will ask only for the date, but from the three dotted menu, you can select to ask for the time also. The time question is similar to the date question type and with the time question you can collect the time data from the users. You can also collect time duration. Just click on the three dotted menu and select duration. Okay, that's all the question types available in Google Forms. If you have any question or thoughts concerning this topic, feel free to drop them in the comment section. I will gladly respond to them. If this video was helpful, like it by clicking the like button and share. Also, don't forget to check out other videos on Google Forms on this channel. I also created some videos that relate to creating quiz forms, voting forms, and event registration forms. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.